All right, so today we're just putting down some turf underlay here. I'm gonna put some turf in soon, so let's get into it. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. Alrighty, so we've finally got this side project going on here. So tomorrow, today's Friday, tomorrow I'm putting some turf in this area just here. So yesterday we pulled out the turf that was in there. I sprayed it a couple of times with Roundup and I was wearing my PPE. So when you spray Roundup, make sure you wear your long pants, enclosed boots, so gum boots, long sleeve shirt and spray the area. I did it three times over the last month. Cause I wore it here and there just to get anything coming up. But yeah, quite cute hung on for ages. But anyway, it, I sprayed that out. Pulled out with the turf cutter yesterday with my brother Josh. And today I've got some turf underlay being delivered to put down under here just to get it nice and level. Have some loose soil as well for the roots to actually take root in. So as you can see, nothing too exciting. It's only about 50 square meters here. It's nothing huge. Um, and I'm not turfing past this point because it gets too much shade. Look at those weeds down there. Whoa. Anyway, it gets too much shade during the day. So we're just doing from here, I'm gonna put some rocks or something in there so the bins can go up the side, but basically we're gonna get some Tiff Tough Bermuda, or Cooch, whatever you wanna call it, and putting it down through here, and I've got some awesome plans with it, so keen to get it down and get it going. But today's video is really to show you guys, you know, the process of pulling out grass, um, putting in some turf underlay and laying turf as well. Pretty easy, not too hard to do. A lot easier than putting down seed. This is the first time I've actually turfed anything at home, so yeah, it's a bit weird. Soil's actually pretty good here. Like, it's quite loose, it's quite a bit there, but it just needs better levels while I'm bringing in some soil. And it's really low as well. As you can see, you can even see the bottom of the driveway. Just there, so yeah, it is really low. So that's the reason we're bringing in some dirt today. So hopefully, Old oh, mate turns up with the dirt before this storm comes in. Whip. Thunder everywhere. Yep. Alright, let's level this dirt out. Starting to rain a bit now, and there's thunder everywhere and lightning. But until it's pouring, I'm just going to level it out with the rake. This year, get as level as I can, and then I'm going to get the lawn level in tomorrow and finish the job off. Yeah. Alright, well it's starting to rain a bit now, so I'm going to stop the video here, finish off in the morning, because tomorrow's Saturday, so I'll have a bit of time in the morning, fix this up, um, so I'll see you tomorrow. Alrighty, it is the next day now. We got quite a bit of rain, which is good. You can see even it's green up over there, it was dry as toast over there before. The lawn's loving it. This is a bit wet now though, which is a pain, so I've got this lawn level anyway, and we'll try to fix it up. But it is good because it sort of showed me where the air pockets were after that rain hitting this area, so no, it's not too bad. It's too early in the morning, getting prepped for this turf to come today. Let's do it. Let's level this bad boy out. Put a cat in there or something. Get cocky, you don't want that there. Oh. Let's level this out. Last night you caught my eye. So fly, oh my, oh my. I've been thinking about you all night. I can't get you off my mind. Alrighty, so I've got it all leveled out. It's not perfect. If you come down here, you'll see what I mean. But I mean, it's pretty good. I can always top dress afterwards as well to get the levels a little bit better, but not bad. With that lawn level, this section here. Unfortunately, I had to make the section a bit higher because it's like the stormwater pipe goes through there and it's like that far under, so I had to make it a little bit higher. But yeah, generally, I'd roll this in as well, like even with my cylinder mower or something, just roll over it, but it's really, really wet. Because um, we had that big massive storm last night, so I'm just going to leave it like that. It'll be fine. I'll just roll on top of the turf 
later today when it dries out a bit yeah, to get in the air pockets out but we are ready yeah boy and I will clear the way Alrighty, turf has turned up, so here is our Tiff Tuff. Woo! Champion of a dude, um, his name's Brett. Brett. Brent. Brent, sorry. <laughs> Dropped this off. Um, he owns a turf farm up in, well, somewhere close to Newcastle, I forget now, but yeah. Legend of a guy. Just dropped this off for me just then on the back of his ute. Um, and believe it or not, he actually founded Sir Walter Buffalo, which is pretty cool. Pretty awesome dude. Um, yeah. About to lay this down now, so let's just get into it before it dries out, because... It's getting a bit warm today, so let's get down quick. Right, so as you can see, we're sort of laying it like bricks, like that, just there, just so it all sticks together nicely. Um, sorry, just was running just then. <laughs> so it's sort of like a jigsaw puzzle, so you just have to join it all together if you like Lego, if you like land turf. Well, I don't know about that, but. Anyway, there'll be sections to do off cuts with, which I'm just going to use this little edger tool just here. Some people have big machetes and stuff, but I'm just going to use that bad boy. Anyway, let's keep going. Uh, you always said you for a better thing. Wanna replace me? I'm in a place that I've never been. It's worth a lonely. Right, so when you are laying it like this, just make sure that you push it up hard against the other half of turf here like this so just so there's no gaps we don't get sections that dry out as well you want to do it like both ways as well so hard up against this side hard up against here hard up against here as well just so you get it looking good Alright, so we're still in these little off-cut sections now, so the easiest way to do it is, I'll get a piece of turf and show you. Grab your turf, chuck it up against the edge there, like so, like that. Make sure it's tied up against those edges, but not overlapping, otherwise you'll have issues. There you go, like that. Just there, perfect. And all you want to do is, find the point where it's stopped and just smack it out like that. You can just use a shovel, but it's like this because it's nice and straight. Done. Alrighty, so as you can see we're all done. I've got the sprinkler going now, so I'm going to make sure I water this twice a day, probably for about, with this thing here, about half an hour to 45 minutes twice a day because it's cooled down a bit. If you're in the middle of summer and getting like close to 40 degrees, I'd probably bump up to even like three times a day if you can. Just make sure that it's always wet, but do not drench it and get it too wet as well. But yeah, ended up going pretty good in the end, I think it looks alright. Now, I really wanted to get the roller on it, or my cylinder mower, just to get all the air pockets out of the turf, but it just really started to dry out. And today's a bit warmer as well, and there's a bit of wind about, so I just wanted to get the water on it, so... Yeah, I don't really, I'm not going to put the roller on it once it's wet, but yeah. If you are doing this, try and get like a water roller or something on there just get the air pockets out for parts that aren't contacting with the soil it's just the best way to go about it but yeah from here basically i'll be watering it twice a day for the next week to two weeks depending on how quickly the roots root down but as soon as those roots root down i'll back the watering off but i'll show you guys the progress along the way anyway yeah i'm keen mm. Alright, we'll wrap that up there, but thanks guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and follow along on this little turf playlist as well. Like this video if you enjoyed it and you have a good week. Grow you good thing. Grow! Mm. Mm.